I am Dave Cross, Photoshop educator and instructor in Creative Live, and this is how to cut out an image using Photoshop. Now, of course, there's plenty of ways to take an object out of Photoshop. We're going to talk about a way that I think is going to give you the best results and the most control, and that's a combination of using the Quick Selection tool and Refine Edge. That will give you the best opportunity to get it done very quickly and yet very accurately. Let's take a look. So in this case, the main thing you need to know about the Quick Selection tool, it's almost like it should be called the Edge Detection tool because it's going to work best in a situation like this where there's definite edges between the subject and the background. And other than that, all I really have to do here is make sure that Auto Enhance is turned on in the options bar. And then it's just a matter of clicking and dragging. You see, I don't even need to go close to the edges of my subject. It automatically is detecting those edges and finding them. I don't have to hold down any keys. I'm just dragging and adding to my selection. Now, in this case here, when I tried to select his arm, you can see it got a little too much. Well, that's simple to fix. We just hold down Option on the Mac or Alt for Windows, and this is going to let us remove from the selection. Then I continue up here, and you see I'm just continuing to drag. Now the hair is a little more of a challenge, and that's where Refine Edge comes in. Refine Edge is this button up at the top. It works with any selection tool. Happens to work particularly nicely with the Quick Selection tool. And in here, we have a series of options. I have my display set to something called On Layers, which gives me this transparent kind of background. And then all I really do is use this tool here called the Refine Radius tool, and all we're going to do is just paint a little bit here where there's some hair that seems to be missing and also you can see a bit of blue between the hair and the sky. So I'm just going to paint a little bit there and that pretty much fixes it up. And at that point, then my only other decision is what I want to do next. Here it says, do you want to output to a selection or to a layer mask? I usually use layer mask because what that's going to do is extract the person but then also give me the original information. So when I click OK, you can see over here that I still have the original photograph with this thing called a layer mask, but now this person is extracted, ready to be cut out and used. So I can either save this in a format like PNG, or I could drag it onto a new background and blend it in very nicely. So remember, with the Quick Selection tool, it's looking for edges. And if you have definite edges in your images, you just drag around to find those images and then use Refine Edge to make the edges even better.